A year long investigation into a business selling vape and THC pens to high school students ends with the owners and the employees facing charges. As Shelly Bortz shows us, some of the young customers had to be rushed to the hospital. That year long investigation into this vape shop here in Westmoreland County uncovered startling information. One local ambulance company said they responded to at least a dozen THC overdoses for kids ages 12 to 16, many who needed hospital treatment in just the last year. I think this is a substantial uh, issue that's affecting our, our children these days. It's easier and more common than most parents think. Kids having access to illegal drugs. In this instance, the Westmoreland County District Attorney said teens were able to walk right into PA Vapor on Route 22 in Murraysville and get their hands on a litany of illegal drugs, including marijuana, Delta 8 and Delta 9 THC products, and mushroom-infused chocolate bars, containing silicin. The two owners of the vape shop, Jeffrey Higgins and Eric Parco, two former employees, Raylan Miller and Isaiah Pritches, and current employee Daniel McKenzie were all charged. They have so much more access to information and to these medications and these drugs than any other population or generation before. Dr. Joseph Arakari, Assistant Chair of Pediatrics for Allegheny Health Network, tells KDKA-TV times are different. Kids can even get illegal drugs in the mail. Just yesterday, three students at Pittsburgh Obama High School got sick after ingesting an unknown edible candy and were taken to the hospital. All kids experiment in adolescence, but you have to make sure that that one experiment is not going to kill them. Dr. Arakri says if your child has eyes glazed over, slurred speech, difficulty breathing, sweating, irritability, and forgetfulness, those could all be signs they may have ingested something. If you think that they have possibly overdosed or ingested something that they shouldn't have, just take them immediately to the emergency room or call the poison control center. Dr. Arakari says before it even gets to that point, parents should be having conversations with their children about the dangers of taking unknown substances. Now, meanwhile, the five people charged were arraigned yesterday and released on bond. They're all due back in court next month for their preliminary hearings. In Murraysville, Shelley Wards, KDKA TV News.